Everything from the sun in the sky down to the decomposers in the ground are all tightly intertwined. The different factors which act on a certain area create what is known as an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a biological community of interacting organisms with their physical environment. Ecosystems can be classified into more specific groups, known as biomes. Major biomes include deserts, forests, grasslands, and tundra. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. In parallel, all life can be traced back to the sun. The sun provides light to plants, which then takes the photonic energy to create oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. Herbivores, also known as plant eaters, then digest the plants, and their energy is then transferred to the animal. Carnivores, also known as meat eaters, digest the herbivores, and their energy is transferred to the carnivore. These animals are grouped into specific energy transference levels, known as trophic levels. The first trophic level are known as producers. These are any plants which photosynthesize. The second trophic level are known as herbivores. These are animals that strictly eat plants. The next level are known as omnivores. These animals eat both plants and animals like a bird eats seeds and insects. The top and final trophic level are the carnivores. These are the animals which strictly eat other animals, also known as hunters. Each successive level constitutes a loss of energy to the next recipient. Motion allows these animals to convert nutrients into usable energy. Heat, or photonic radiation, allows for photosynthesis which is the basis for the transfer of energy in the food chain. Proving the sun is the basis of all life. The acquisition of and expulsion of energy allows animals to regulate a stable internal condition. This regulation is known as homeostasis. There are two things which act on an ecosystem. The first, biotic, or living factors, consist of all the living organisms within an area. The second factor, abiotic, or non-living factors, consist of all other factors that occur in an environment, such as land formations and water.
Areas that are populated by specific biotic organisms are known as biospheres. One abiotic factor that acts upon the environment is water. Water is constantly changing form. From a liquid to a gas. When animals consume and exhume water, it is in a liquid state. When sunlight or extreme heat is exposed to water, it then begins to evaporate to its gaseous state. When in the atmosphere, water in its gaseous state can group into formations known as clouds. Then, depending on the temperature, it will fall down to Earth in different forms of precipitation. This constant changing from liquid to gas to solid is known as the water cycle. Another abiotic cycle which affects the environment is known as the carbon cycle. Carbon in the air is converted into usable oxygen by plants through the process of photosynthesis. Animals and decomposers then convert the oxygen back into carbon by the process of cellular respiration. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, factories and automobiles also release carbon into the atmosphere. Because of rapid deforestation and the increase of automobile usage, rapid buildup of greenhouse gases has caused an increase in the Earth's temperature. Many scientists believe an increase of more than 8 degrees from its current average could mean disaster for the world and its ecosystems.